What up, YouTube? It's your boy Ryo coming at you again with another one. Um, what, this time I got myself a, another suspension part. Uh, a suspension part that really makes a difference when you're on the track, or if you drive real hard, or like to like to take those on ramps real quick, or just like evasive driving. Period. Gives you a little bit more comfort, a little bit more style, a um, little bit more uh, freedom to be to be as aggressive as you want or as aggressive as your car will let you. Uh, I got myself a Cusco rear sway bar. The Cusco rear sway bar is not adjustable, so you only have the one setting in the back um, on the 2013 WRX at least in STI. Um, if you get an adjustable sway bar, you'll have different positions that you can actually mount the, uh, the stabilizer links in. And that'll give you different stiffnesses um, for turning or rear end sway. So what I did was I got myself the Cusco one because I heard that the durability and the um, overall fit and finish was the best. And to tell you the truth, I was not disappointed. The rear sway bar from Cusco is fantastic. It came flawless. Even the welds on the on the end were flawless. So installation was the easiest thing ever uh, if you have a hoist. If you don't have a hoist, it can be a bit of a bear. But keep in mind, I, I did have a hoist. I put it up on the hoist and I had it installed maybe 10 minutes. Um, provided that your stabilizer links and all that stuff come apart, no problem. I am using the stock sway bar, the sway bar links. Um, I, I, I am planning on getting the adjustable sway bar links, but for now I just wanted to see what it would be like if I just got the stock sway bar links, put them in there, and the way that they are, fit perfectly, fit really well, bolted up nice, um, but you really got to be careful taking off the old ones. Now, when I when I used to try to push my car in these really tight turns, I used to be able to do, I guess, an on-ramp. You could probably do it at uh, maybe a buck 40, buck 50. Um, I'm not telling you to do it, and I'm not saying I did it. I'm just saying the kind of turns that I've tried it on were equivalent. Um, now, I would say you could probably do it at about a buck 80 buck 90 no problems no tire squeal you can probably go faster than that a little bit of tire squeal but i'm saying before the tire can start to squeal you can probably do that comfortably now i'm using the stock tires um dunlop i think they are sp something whatever the fuck i don't know but they're the ones that come with the car originally now uh dunlop i don't know what the hell they are but anyway they're nothing special they're just a regular performance summer radial. And uh, I was really, really pleased. If you look at the actual uh, design of the sway bar, it's not too different from any other design you're gonna find that's not adjustable. The what, what really got to me was the fact that what they use to coat the bar is, uh, is really agile and durable. I mean, I've, I've been driving on it now for almost 5,000 kilometers and uh, when I went to do my oil change or one of the guys in my shop did my oil change um, I, I just took a quick look at it and I scrape a lot and I drive on roads that have a lot of rocks and, and things that can be kicked up and hit the, hit the sway bar and there is not one ding or dent or scratch or anything in that bar so I know I know if I drive it in the winter time with the bar on it, I don't have to worry about rust or um, rust or uh, any kind of corrosion or damage to the bar. So I mean, this is a very quality bar, very quality item, and I just I'm very happy with it. Out of all the cars that I've had and put sway bars on and upper sway bars and whatnot, you you can get some rust or some corrosion, maybe. Uh, maybe build up around the um, the links and make it start to knock or loose or something like that. But this bar is beyond quality of all the other ones. I've never had Cusco sway bars before and this one is fantastic. I recommend it to anyone who is looking to upgrade your stuff 
I, if there's one thing I stress, if you're gonna do it, do it right the first time. Cusco's the way to do it. I picked it up from Simone Performance in New Market. Um, give them a call, or give me a call, because I work there. Um, the phone number there is 905-853-1677. Give me a call. I will gladly hook you up with a Cusco if they make it. Um, again, best stuff you're gonna find. And if you're one of the people that are just like, you know what? I don't push my car too hard, but I want something, uh, I don't know, if you want some swag, if you want something just to be like, yo, I got a Cusco sway bar. People hear the word Cusco and they're like, oh yeah, rich guy, eh? No, 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 I got Cusco because I know it will perform properly. So if you're gonna get, if you're gonna get something as an upgrade, do it right the first time, I can't stress that enough, Cusco is the way to do it. So I'm gonna include some pictures uh, now. And I'm going to uh, really strongly suggest you guys get a Cusco sway bar for the bottom, uh, in the rear, at least the rear, because it made a huge difference. My car feels a lot more planted. A lot more strong and agile when I turn I turn with a lot more confidence so I mean do it it's, it's fantastic if you have any questions feel free to mention in the comments or PM me whatever you got to do hey if you want just fucking call me call me call me at work and say hey Ryan I wanted to put this on my I don't know Forester or uh, Infinity G35 or whatever whatever the hell you're driving if they make it, I suggest you get it because it is fantastic. Uh, until then, peace out. Your boy, Ryo, signing off. Small performance. Toronto Tuner Syndicate. This is how we do it. Until next time, one love.